You know, for a lot of people, the most summery part of summer is getting out in that garden. Watching grass, flowers, and even vegetables explode into life is exciting, but it takes work. So we're going to take some of the work out of it because we've got three tips to prep your garden. And that's our featured story on the top of the list. Whether you're a cereal plant killer or a green thumb genius, there are tricks to keeping your garden growing. So with the help of Agriscaping co-founder Justin Rohner, we are sprouting our gardening skills. So from flowers to foliage, there's a lot of cool things you can check out in your garden. So let's check in and see how your garden's doing. Everyone knows the grass is greener where you water it, but are you overwatering? If you're overwatering, things like this start to happen, where the leaves will actually shrivel and stay green and then they start turning black. That means I'm likely overwatering and rotting my roots. And Justin says there's another common sign of too much H2O. The leaves, though still rigid, will turn yellow and that's usually an indicator that there's so much water that it's suffocating the roots from allowing them to draw up the nitrogen and causing that yellowness. You'll also have to ask, are you underwatering? Now if I'm underwatering, what I'm going to see is just a little bit of wilt from the leaves of the plant, and that means I need to water it again. And if you're second guessing yourself, test the soil. If you can reach down and just dig your finger in just for a little bit, if it's still moist at an inch down, you don't want to water it. But if it's dry, then your plant is trying to tell you it's thirsty and it needs moisture for it to continue to grow. Justin has a final trick for you to generate regrowth. Another thing to be checking on your garden is your flowers. If you want them to continue to bloom for you, what you need to do is you need to pinch them off. When your blooms are starting to wilt, it's time to pick them off right at the stem. By pinching them off, it invigorates additional flowers to grow. If they continue to just wilt on the plant, no additional flower will be growing on that plant. So for marigolds, pansies, petunias, all those varieties do better when I can pinch off my flower ends. You can even use this technique on non-flowering plants. Pinch off herbs like basil and rosemary right at the stem of the leaf when you're not seeing enough growth. Sowing the seeds for the best garden ever is at the top of the list.